our previous session we have talked about uh, that is the how there will be the talent uh, management processes in the case of the acquisition and development. Now here um, we will talk about uh, whenever we are identifying you know that uh, in the previous just previous session we have talked about the identify and develop. So, how to identify the potential candidates and uh, nowadays there is a software applications are there. How these softwares are working that uh, I would like to demonstrate to you and uh, in this case uh, these contents will be technology in screening that is a problem. Now, because there, there are the global level companies and I am sure this session will be very useful for yourself uh, in the case of uh, the uh, applying to the organizations and changing the organizations making the resume and then uh, developing uh, the keywords. So, that uh, you have been, you get an opportunity you know for the interview. So, technology in screening that is a problem that is the uh, we have to screen the uh, millions from the millions of the applications and believe me uh, the this global level companies hiring companies uh, they, they are uh, having the millions of these applications per year and if that much of the applications are coming then how to screen those applications that is a big issue. So, that, that is a problem. And then the technology in screening, but there is a solution, solution through the software and how that works that we will be discussing in this uh, session. Type of automated screening systems, so how many types are there for the automated screening systems, resume screening, uh, how the, the softwares they screen the resumes, screening using monsters power resume search example, screening according to the job title, then there are different uh, uh, the approaches, the job title then the year of experience, then the location and there is another um, this is screening that is screening using the Odoo. So, therefore, the, this we will be discussing. Now, here it uh, comes that is uh, what is the resume screening is there. So, in the resume screening we will find um, first and foremost the, the key parameters are the work experience right whether do you have the work experience, educational qualifications these are the key parameters hmm? uh, you have to focus on each one because if you want to develop your resume then you have to put those keywords and to put those keywords uh, you should know what are the dimensions which are important. Uh, so, keywords related to the work experience keywords related to the educational qualifications, skills and knowledge that uh, the what is the resume screening this will be the uh, ch checklist whether the candidate is having that skill and knowledge or not. Then the competencies, knowledge, skill and attitude of that particular employee and the personality traits that is the how he is he is having his type of personality. So, that if we acquire that particular candidate, he will be able to work with the organization. So, when we are talking about the screening using the monstrous power resume search and then this will be the um, uh, power resume search will be there. Uh, here we talk about the job title right that what is the job title is there then uh, uh, years of experience that is the what type of the experience do you have, uh, how many years of experience because for every position now the screening now you have to also understand there are two criteria. One is the eligibility criteria other is the screening criteria. For example, minimum 3 years of experience is required this is written in the advertisement. So, those who are having the 3 years of experience they are also eligible and those who are having more than 3 years of experience they are also eligible. So, and there are the thousands of applications. So, how, uh, uh, how to screen? So, somebody may say 10 years put the this year years of experience you put the 10 and if you pu put the 10 then definitely uh, whether it, it is the more than 8 or less than 8 right. So, therefore, it is more than 8. So, your application 
automatically will be screened out. Now, here you are putting it the 8 years of experience. Now, this application will be done the screening or it will not be done the screening, right. Then those who have completed 8 years, no, less than 8 years is there. So, therefore, here the organization will decide 5 plus. So, those who uh, less than 8, so every every 4 is also less than 8, 2 to 3 years is also less than 8. But in the screening criteria, if they want to invite the 50 candidates for interviews and those who are already there 5 plus is there and less than 8 is there, then definitely they will like to call those type of the candidates. But uh, from the hundreds and thousands of these applications, you need not to go for the each application. What you will do? You will put a command that is the those applications which are having the more than 5 years, fine. You will get the filtered applications. Then the location, right. So, again here you find within 50 miles. So, suppose it is at Roorkee, so within 50 miles of the Roorkee, those were geographical locations will be there that will be screened out, right. And those who are the more than 50 miles that will be considered into the database. So, therefore, uh, here you will find that is the you will put here certain cities names and then accordingly you will be filtering them. So, as a city a state or zip code will be there and then add another location and like these locations you will add and if it is not matching the application will be screened out. So, uh, what we are doing we are identifying the talent acquisition that is the how talent automated screening applications is the application of the identifying the talented employees. Now, this is the part which I always mention are very, very, very important skill or knowledge or keywords. So, here for every job we will take the example also I will tell you that is uh, how the simple difference is uh, screening out your application and then you say um, uh, I have not got the call or you may say that is oh these are there are the thousands of applicants in this company, but I have got the call. So, how it comes? So, it comes through these skill and keywords as I mentioned year of experience and all this that is fine, but that is a skill and keywords. Because every organization is looking for a potential employee who can do the job and for doing a particular job, particular skills or the knowledge is required. And to get the skills or knowledge, it becomes important that is you are having that particular aspect of technological skills and knowledge. This is very, very important that you put the right words in the skills and knowledge. If you put the right words, you are in. If even you are having the experience, you know, year of experience is 5 plus. But if you do not put these skills and the keywords, then it will not be the relevant experience. Like here you will see that is enter terms related to candidates industry or expertise. Example is given like a Java. Hmm? So, you write uh, so many things, but if you do not put the Java, the software, it is not any person, right. In such big organizations, it is a technology only and technology that is a automated screening will be there and then your application will be uh, not uh, screened. So, like a Java, then the tele sales, call center, retail, socks. So, therefore, these are the certain typical knowledge of the languages or the job which is required to be known. If it is known and you have put it into the skills keywords, it will be done. 
so education then again minimum education level is required right and uh, it, it is the uh, there are two aspects here like many times you read that is the for a particular post even the phds are apply, applied those who are the over qualified for that particular post is there right so because they think that is the if the graduation is uh, um, asked or the post graduation is asked here is the M example is given mba ms maths mscs english like this these are the qualifications which will be suitable for this but if somebody is uh, um, mtech right and then uh, somebody is mcom then it will be depend on that uh, particular classification. So, if that word is there, this application will be screened. If that word is not there, application will not be screened. And you will say I, that is the my qualification is the equivalent to that qualification. It is equivalent, but it is not same what the organization is looking for. I would like to give one example like uh, I had a one project from ICSSR and they mentioned that there is MA in sociology that was the requirement. But we got the number of applications of the MBA candidates right they thought that is they are MBA so it is equivalent and uh, this is the management uh, project so uh, we will be relevant uh, qualification. So, we inquired from ICSSR and ICSSR mentioned that is no it is the MA in sociology will be the eligible candidate and not the MBA. So, when you are screening the applications you cannot take it granted that is the equivalent will also do. However, in software if you are MBA like the, those MBA have applied. So, we saw that there were certain good applications of MBA. So, we inquired from the of, uh, office, but the office said that is no MA sociology is applicable, it is a different thing. But yes, we have seen the interest in that those applications also. So, therefore, you should apply, right. But uh, if uh, there are the number with the because any unique qualification, there might be the very less applicants and the company may consider some other qualification also. So, for applying that is fine, but keep in mind that is the whether it is relevant or it is not relevant, it is appropriate or it is not appropriate or it is equivalent at least you should know. You may apply, you may not apply, but you should know that my qualification is the appropriate qualification or my qualification is the um, equivalent qualification. If it is the equivalent qualification it does not make any sense uh, 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 100 percent right. So, but if it is the proper qualification appropriate qualification which is required and then you are having that qualification yes then you are in this qualification parameters your uh, application will be considered. Then screening uh, according to the job title. So, what will be the job titles are there? Now, you see in this case the job title is sales. So, you have to very clear whether you are having the experience in the sales or not or in your keywords. In your keywords is there any sales or there is no sales right. Uh, it, it, you can't say there is a marketing is there sir and marketing includes the search. So, therefore, my application is to be considered. You have to be very specifically you have to write that is the do you have experience of sales or not. I do not have the sales, but I have for the advertisements and like this then it, it does not make any sense. If sales is required sales is there then year of experience that already I mentioned, then the locations that what are locations skill keywords, then here it is the job title that, that, that is becoming the search and then that will has to be sales. Now, screening account to the years of experience right. 
So, here I already mentioned that is it is the 2 plus is there, but less than at and therefore, the rest of the things that will be uh, 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 accurately has to be matched and uh, in some organizations there will be the limitation also. So, eligibility may be less than 8. But when the in the screening the committee decides that it is better to have between the 3 to 5 or 5 plus as I mentioned earlier. So, there will be a particular criteria in the screening. So, they, they are eligible, but you cannot uh, interview the uh, millions no, as I mentioned. So, therefore, you screen them and therefore, it is the here it is example is given 2 plus right. So, that will be there skill keywords education all already I have mentioned. Now, the location, now it becomes very, very important that what is the location. I would like to share one example that is the whenever we were talking about these particular aspects that is the uh, how uh, your uh, location is into the 30 miles, 50 miles within. So, those applications are those applications are working or those applications are not uh, uh, working into that particular requirement. So, if in that requirement it, it is becoming that is the how, how these uh, cities names of the cities are there are these uh, uh, different uh, uh, here it is given that is the uh, pin code are there, there are certain city or states are there, then uh, it, 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 it will be uh, taken into consideration that is the yes, these are the pin codes which are the within the 30 miles or the 50 miles and therefore, in that case you it, it, it will be it will be seen that is the how it is the um, uh, uh, within the uh, your uh, preferred uh, cities or it is not within your preferred cities. So, therefore, uh, in that case it will be important that is the uh, you mention your uh, zip code and the with zip code is mentioned then there will be the relevancy will be there. Then the skill keywords and the resumes updated or the education is there. Then screening according to these skills or the keywords are there. So, uh, these uh, already I have mentioned that is the skill keywords are out, uh, outside sales right or manufacturing is there. So, if the word is of the manufacturing then definitely in that case you will find that uh, the uh, it will not consider because we are taking the example of sales. So, if it is sales then this will not be considered. Then uh, 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 next will be that is the screening account to the resume updated. And therefore, in case of this updated resume, right? So there will be resume updated within one month, right? So in sometimes you see you apply, and for the six months you are not getting any call, and after six months uh, uh, then you get an interview call. So what is expected? Expected is that you are making the updated your resume. So I always uh, keep on saying my students when they are into the first semester uh, then they, they show their profile in the presentation and in the um, se second semester I ask them that is the what additional you have done. So, naturally they have gone through the winter training after first semester and like this so in, so in their second semester's time of presentation. So, they updated their resume. So, therefore, this is becoming very, very important it is the within one month are more or less and then you are having that particular updation of the that you are saving. So, now the screening account to the educational qualifications are there. So, as I mentioned that is it is not uh, that UG or PG and all. So, he, it has to be very, very specifically you have to mention and then you know, because in this uh, search right in the keywords when there are the so much thousands of applications are there, it will be difficult. Now, in this uh, in the case of these uh, two other criteria, uh, naturally about the school and about the company where you have worked, right? Uh, there can be the certain criteria that is the yes, uh, you have worked in a such a uh, company which is having the uh, more than 100 crore turnover. If that is so, 
then definitely it will be preferred or they may require uh, the work into the uh, startups. So, less than 50 crore. So, if you have worked into the company which is having the uh, less than 50 crore, then definitely you will be preferred if it, that is the requirement. Uh, 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 then the job type, uh, here actually the salary is also there and then what you will put the salary range because uh, uh, again it is the automated appli screening application. So, your application will be screened that is the uh, whatever is uh, mm, your amount you are putting then it may it may be too high from their range and that you do not know the range. So, normally what you write you write negotiable if that is the column that is fine or in here it is written that what maximum salary do you expect include the candidates without salary information right. So, therefore, even the somebody does not mention that is also here considered, but somebody in some screening it will be considered only when you are putting a particular number and that number is as per the requirement of the organization or not. Now, this is also very very important point uh, that is a job type especially in India at least you will find whether you have worked in the full time or not if you have worked full time then it will be considered. So, here you will find it is a full time then the intern is there, seasonal, temporary or contract or the part time employees are there. So, if 3 years full time experience is required then that will be 3 years part time experience right. Then it will be not be the part time will not be considered or if there are the certain jobs where only after your uh, uh, education some period is required then that will be specified. But when it has been specified about the nature of jobs then definitely it is a full time that will be considered. Job duration, so therefore what they select and the, uh, the desired average tenure that is what job duration is required. Uh, willing to travel, now, now the sales please understand do not forget that what was the requirement, requirement was sales and if it is requirement was sales then uh, the travel right. So, whether you are ready to travel or not tra willing to travel, so naturally in the sales you are supposed to willing to travel. But some of you may keep this condition that is no I will not travel, I will be within because of the uh, maybe some of the candidates having the their social limitation social limitation because of the family, they cannot uh, go out of the city, out of the city and therefore, in that case they may say that is the they do not want to travel. Let, let the software decide whether the they, uh, they select or they do not select right. So, uh, here that is the no travel is required in the case then that is fine. Now, searching as per the all criteria is con concerned. So, therefore, on the basis of these all criteria right then it, it will be decided that is the how uh, there will be the candidate selection of, of calling for the screening candidate screening for the interview or not. So, here we find that is the uh, how these marks have been given and then you see the overall criteria. And in the overall criteria, you will find that is the resume updated uh, when, when 7 years ago, uh, 7 days ago sorry, 4 weeks ago, 11 days ago right, how many days ago it has been done. Then the regional sales is there, territory management is there, experience, uh, sales territory manager, designation, manufacturing 9.5 years is there, regional sales manager, top skills are uh, the key mechanical testing uh, that, uh, that is a uh, field sales, uh, regional sales and regional sales manager, top skills right that is the territory, uh, territory development. Hmm? So, therefore, you will find that is the overall uh, uh, that criteria all criteria uh, that you will find and therefore, you can compare according to these these criteria and there is a score right. So, there is a 9.4 match, 9.3 match, 9.3 match, 9.3 match. So, you, you, you can uh, find out that is the wh wh what is the score which you are able to get. 
Now the second software that is the screening using, using the Odoo. So therefore, in that case, there will be the uh, after identification of requirement in terms of the vacancies, roles and responsibilities, qualification, experience, etc. based on the client needs. Hmm? So, in terms of number of vacancies, I always mention that is the uh, it depends that is the how many candidates you want to screen. So, it will depend on the number of vacancies you want to 10 is to 1 or the 15 is to 1. You know? So, if you are selecting the one uh, for the 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 15, then the number of vacancies accordingly this number will be decided. Then the roles and responsibilities it is a front line middle management or the top management is there, qualification and experience etc. based on the client needs what they need and the user a partner can post and publish new job by clicking on create button here. In the similar job already exists then user can edit the job position according to the requirement and can track the number of applications for a specific job profile. So, here you will find it is the uh, designations and then the applications there are there and the status is there that how many applications they are looking for. So, here in the screening using the Odoo, uh, then the creating the new job op openings, multiple job applications can be created automatically according to the requirement by the adding application email for receiving the response from the applicants are there. So, creating a job position that is a what job position is there and that is to be created. The user can create to or save the job description along with all required elements. Hmm? So, simultaneously you can you are required to save it company number of vacancies department responsible position job locations job descriptions screening using you do receiving applications multiple applications can apply. Now, this is also one point which is the to be noted that is the multiple applicants can apply for the same job opening when we may create an initial screening for test them using on questionnaire. So, here is the questionnaire which is to be responded. And if there is a response of the questionnaire, then initial screening test will be done and accordingly it will be identified. Now, uh, from the applicant's view, the link appears with a button to start filling the questionnaire. So, as, as soon as you start, then the you, you start survey and recruitment form will be there. The questionnaire screening questions can have all required questions to screen out non potential candidates. This is what is the they want it. Why that so much exercise is done? The so much exercise is done for the non potential candidates. Which country are you from? Hmm? From which university did you uh, or will you graduate? And did you apply from an employee uh, and uh, the, uh, any education? So, therefore, in that case, uh, here the purpose is asked to the screen out the non potential candidates so you can get the right persons. Technology in screening problem the internet has extended organization's ability to reach many more job seekers. The result is often a flood of applications which create more work in screening and sorting. So, uh, therefore, the uh, it has having the uh, uh, technology is the problem right that was a problem and that is the ability to reach many more job seekers. The result is often a flood of applications which creates more work in screening and sorting that is why we want to go. So, large well known companies like Microsoft and Lockheed Martin receive between 600,000 and 1 million resumes per year. So, you can see that is the how these 1 million resumes uh, if the company is getting and then they have to screen as we have seen then you can use those softwares and then you can do that. Even smaller companies that post on the big job boards like monster.com and hot jobs can expect to receive hundreds even thousands of applications per job postings are there. So, here we will find that is the whatever the different uh, job postings are there uh, then uh, 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 so many many companies they, they, they put there whether they are small or big and they are putting um, their requirements uh, on the monster.com uh, monster and hot jobs and therefore, they can expect to receive hundreds even thousands of applications on job postings. So, he that is the solution. So, what is the solution is however, technology and modern systems have increased the levels of complexities applicants pool. It too have provided us with tools to manage the same even way better than before. So, whenever we are talking about the technology and modern systems right. So, naturally in that case uh, the uh, approach is uh, become easy 
right. So, number of applicants will be more. So, that is increasing the level of complexities of applicants pool and right? number will increase. It to a product with the tools, to, but it is also provided. Technology at side increase the number of applicants, but it has also provided us with tools to manage the same even way better than before. The screening process can be done with the help of automated um, tools and systems saving both time and funds of the organizations. So, as I mentioned that is the if your automated application screening is to be done and when you are using these different types of these uh, uh, parameters and then definitely uh, you will be having the solutions also. So, one side there is a problem of the number of applications, but when we as two examples have been given monster.com and Odoo and therefore, uh, there are the uh, uh, keywords and the uh, skills that if you are using properly then in, uh, and in the uh, and year of experience and all and um, expected salary and all, all these uh, screening criteria are put there and uh, so, uh, these uh, softwares automatically will screen the right candidate and that is the solution and there is a certain, certain uh, more uh, applications are there in this automated screening uh, uh, applications part that we will discuss in next session. Thank you.